Hi, so now we will be discussing the experiment about the melting point of ice. Starting with the apparatus, we will need a funnel, a stand, a thermometer, a beaker and a few cubes of ice. First, we need to start by finding the least count of the thermometer. Like all measurement related experiments, for every measuring device, we must know its least count. And now we'll take a closer look at the thermometer to find its least count. First, we need to find the zero marking and then find the next numbered marking. And there are uh, 10 divisions between zero and the next numbered marking, which is 10. Hence, the least count is one degree Celsius. Now we will place the thermometer in the funnel and make sure that the thermometer is within the funnel's cone. And now we will slowly add in ice cubes into the funnel. And if you let it settle for a few minutes, you will see that the temperature on the thermometer will go down from the room temperature to 0 degree Celsius or close to 0 degree Celsius. As observed before, the room temperature was at 30 degrees Celsius and now you will see that the reading on the thermometer is close to 0 degrees Celsius. Now we must just let it be and wait for the ice to completely melt and collect in the beaker. Here's a little time lapse to illustrate how the ice melts over time. And on the day that I had conducted the experiment, the room temperature was around 30 degrees Celsius and it took about 40, uh, 30 to 40 minutes for the ice to completely melt and get collected in the beaker. Now you will notice that after all the ice is melted or when the last cube of ice is melting, the reading on the thermometer is close to 0 degrees Celsius and in this case it's close to 1.5 to 2 degrees Celsius. Hi, so now we will move on to the second part of the experiment that is to convert the temperature that we found that is the temperature of the melting point of ice from Celsius to degree Kelvin. So it will be from degree Celsius to degree Kelvin. If we define uh, the degree Kelvin scale is at 0 degree Celsius, the degree Kelvin scale represents 273 degrees Kelvin. To be more precise, it is 273.15 degree Kelvin. On the day of conducting this experiment, say the thermometer reads 1 degree Celsius. So how will we convert this 1 degree Celsius into Kelvin? It's simple as we've done for the boiling point experiment. It will be 1 degree Celsius plus 273, which will be 274 degrees Kelvin. It is as simple as that. Or say, for example, it is minus 1 degree Celsius since our thermometer can read from minus 10 degree Celsius all the way up to 100 degree Celsius. Then in this case, we can say minus 1 degree Celsius plus 273. It's minus 1 degrees and plus 273. So we will subtract 1 from this and write the sign of the greater number 172 degrees Kelvin. 